Hello cookbook friend and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm really excited to check this uh, vegan baking cookbook out. It's Vava Voom Vegan Cakes. Uh, January is my family's big birthday month and I, I would love to learn how to make more vegan desserts good. I haven't tried it, and I haven't really, like, I've had really good vegan bakes, but I'm always afraid to do it, especially because I've got celiac, and incorporating vegan and gluten-free just seems really scary and almost impossible, but I think we can actually do it, and I think we can do it with this cookbook. So this is by Angela Romeo. I'm really excited. So um, let's, yeah, let's just dive in. Oh, wow. This is this is beautiful. I think these could you could use these as toppers. I'm just really, I'm already, wow, I'm already really impressed. So, like, this is not just vegan baking. This is very elegant, very just fantastic, fantastical and magical cakes. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the table of contents here. It doesn't seem very big, but the cookbook really isn't terribly big. Um, so we have tips, techniques, and finishing touches. Then we go into basic recipes, which include Tutti Frutti, Let's Go Nuts, he Hello Petal, uh, Chocks Away, Sugar and Spice, and then Party Time. So let's see what we got going on. Ooh, okay. So tips, techniques, and finishing touches. We have all of the things you will probably need for baking. So that includes soy yogurt and milk, garbanzo beans, vegan butter, coconut oil, cocoa powder, all kinds of stuff. And I love that she lists it all out for you so that you can have it in your pantry ready to go if you ever get like a baking craving, which I happen to get all the time. Uh, and it just makes it a lot easier to have. So here's extra tips like how to line your pans, how to stir things even. I know with gluten-free baking specifically, stirring can be a huge pain. You don't want to over stir because then it gets all weird and funky. So I love these tips. These are really, really helpful. Also, um, natural coloring. So you even can use dragon fruit to make your stuff pink different things to make your stuff orange or yellow or blue. That's very helpful. I I it's I didn't know that maybe food coloring is something that might have meat products. I had no idea. So that's really helpful. I love this. This is very cool. Different how you can do different butter creams, how you can smooth it, different kinds of spatulas. Super cool. So let's go into, oh, so, and she includes, like, basic recipes, too. So this is a basic vanilla sponge, and it's not that complicated. You could probably see. There's also a basic chocolate sponge. And then we have, like, a tray bake sponge. So that's really nice. And then we even have your simple buttercreams and cream cheese frosting. I love cream cheese frosting. I just don't know how you'd be able to do that vegan. So that's so cool. I'm so excited. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. So let's look at Tutti Frutti first. And awesome photography. Just beautiful. So we have all oh, cute lemon meringue uh, mini cakes. This is cute. Um, this is awesome. You can see it's got a delicious lemon curd in the middle. That looks phenomenal. Let's see. We have also have, ooh, a pineapple and anise upside down cake. This is a bit of a classic. This is a fun summertime dessert. Um, we've also got the epic black forest cake, which is the cover. So very cool. And it's just, oh, man, this looks amazing. All right, so... We also have a strawberry shortcake layer cake. Yum. Let's move on to, we even have, oh wow, there's a lot of fruit. Lots of fruit cakes. So if you're really into fruit cake, this is perfect. Uh, let's go nuts. Pistachio lime and raspberry wowzer cake. Yum. Oh man, that looks just so good. A marbled go nuts cupcake. Oh, it, I hope you guys can see the marbling on these cupcakes. This looks really cool. It's almost like a peanut butter swirl. Yum, this is awesome. 
Ooh, a cherry bake wow cake. There's lots of wowing in this book. I guess it's Baba Boom, so it's got to be amazing. This is really beautiful. This would be fun for uh, my niece really loves pink. So I feel like this would be a really fun way to incorporate some fruit flavors into her cake. She'd probably dig it. So that's super cool. Let's see what else I can see in here that would be that's a little different. The flowers was interesting. So very elegant and beautiful cakes in the flower section. There's blueberry and lavender cake, which looks just gorgeous. And then we even have, and that would be great for spring and summer. There's an elderflower and lemon cake or yeah, lemon cakes. This looks so beautiful, like almost wedding worthy. This is a rose petal chocolate cake. I've never thought to mix the two together because they could be very overpowering, but I think if you do it so like very delicately, you can get achieve these amazing flavors. Forget me not Prosecco jelly cake. Holy moly. This stuff is just really hard to do without it being vegan. So I am kind of I'm impressed. This is this one's a hard one to do, but most of the bakes in here have been fairly uh, straightforward. So I'm impressed that they've been able to incorporate some very tough bakes in here so that if you are not a beginner vegan baker, this is still an appealing cookbook for you. Um, let's move on to some other cakes. We've got, obviously, the wonderful chocolate section. Queen of Sheba cake. Yum. We also have the classic red velvet cake, which is one of my favorites. So good. Let's see. We also have, I saw a really unique, ch oh, sugar and spice. This is going to be a cool chapter. So, ooh immediately. Chai spiced cupcakes, so good. And that would be awesome for now because I just love the, the flavors are perfect. Um, we have a honeycomb cake. That looks just fantastic. I've just never seen something so, you know, majestic like that. That's just glorious. Um, we also have in here a vanilla mini bunt with vanilla and saffron soya custard oh i'm gonna die okay so this cookbook is awesome like even though it's got all it's not huge it's really really good and it looks like they give you the foundations to be able to make your own cakes if you wanted to so if you wanted to mix and match they just kind of give you a whole array of different things you can do with cake so then you can apply different flavors different kinds of frosting different kinds of batter and just play. I love that. This is so cool. So definitely check out Vava Voom Vegan Cakes. This is by Angela Romeo. This is very cool. If you are experimenting with vegan baking or you already have been doing that, this is very cool. And it doesn't take up a lot on your shelf, so also a bonus. Lots of knowledge, not a lot of space. So that's really cool. Uh, if you guys want to actually go buy it, uh, check out our description down below. Um, we've got a link there. If you want to check out more cookbook content, we also have our Cookbook Divas website down below. We do a bunch of articles about brand new or even older cookbooks that we find, and we review them. So come join us there. Also, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Cookbook cookbook divas uh, for additional content we love to hear from you guys so make sure to co comment and give us a hello uh, if you guys want to if you guys enjoy these videos go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want us to review something specific tell us we would love to hear from you guys and know what kind of cookbooks you really enjoy so definitely leave us a comment thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a fantastic day